welcome to all today we are going to discuss a new topic d and f block elements d and f block elements in this first we are going to discuss d block elements d block elements if we take periodic table this is a, a first group hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium and cesium and the last element is francium is the first group second group beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium and radium this is second group after that here it is lithium beryllium next boron belongs to p block sodium magnesium aluminium belongs to p block potassium then next element is scandium titanium vanadium chromium manganese iron cobalt nickel copper zinc these are the elements this is a first period second period third period fourth period fifth period sixth period seventh period means these d block elements starts from fourth period in first period hydrogen next element directly p block helium in second period lithium beryllium next no d block element boron directly p block and third period sodium magnesium after that no d block then next directly aluminium p block will start but from fourth period potassium calcium next scandium titanium d block will come so this d block elements are uh, belongs to means are starts from fourth period starts from fourth period this we called 3d series why we called 3d series we discuss just wait 3d series fifth period is there na fifth period that we called 4d series and the sixth period this we called 5d series seventh period we called 6d series totally how many series as means four series fourth period 3d series fifth period 4d series sixth period 5d series seventh period 6d series so totally these are starts from fourth period and group numbers if you are taken this is first group second group then after third group d block element starts from third group third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh twelfth so these are present in these are present third group to tenth group sorry twelfth group total number of groups are 10 groups present d subshell maximum number of electrons 10 so in d block also 10 groups present those are third group to 12th group according to iupac name third to this is 12 and uh, general nomenclature it is uh, first a second a this is third b third b fourth b fifth b sixth b seventh b these three are eighth group eighth b these are this is eighth b this is first a sorry first b and second b 
So here it is. Third B group, fourth B group, fifth B group, sixth B group, seventh B group, eighth B, eighth B, eighth B, first B, second B. General IUPAC nomenclature is this is third group, first group, second group, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. So these are the twelve groups. If we are taken general nomenclature, this S block first A and second A, third B, B, third B, fourth B, fifth B, sixth B, seventh B, eighth B, eighth B, eighth B, first B, second B. So like this uh, groups arrangement. Total third group to twelve group, ten groups present here it is. So here it is. This is general explanation. Here one by one, one by one series. First I am taking three D series. Where D block elements present means those are present between S and P block elements. Starts from fourth period. Starts from third group, fourth period, fifth period, sixth period, seventh period, and third group to twelfth group. First, I am taking here it is three D series. Three D series. Three D series. It is present in fourth period. Three D series present in fourth period. This we called first transition series. I will explain regarding this transition series. So we are discussing first about 3D series that is present in fourth period. Also we called as first transition series. And already we know the general electronic configuration that is n minus 1d, 1 to 10. Ns one to two. This is the general electronic configuration of D block elements. So first, I am explaining 3D series here. It is electronic configuration we are discussing. In that electronic configuration, I am explaining about 3D series. 3D series elements are this is scandium, and here it is scandium. Next, titanium, vanadium, chromium. And manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, and copper, and zinc. So these are the three D series. Three D series here it is general electronic configuration n minus one d one to ten n s one to two. First I am giving atomic number. Here it is twenty one. Here it is twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four, and twenty five. 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. These are the atomic numbers 21 to 30. So now electronic configuration. First expected electronic configuration I am taking. Here expected electronic configuration. This is Ns2, N minus 1d1. Ns2 N minus 1D1. So Ns2 N minus 1D1. For suppose scandium I am taking. Scandium atomic number 21. So 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, and 3S2, 3P6, 4S2, and 3D1. This is the configuration of scandium 21. 2 plus 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, 20, 21, 21. Scandium configuration. Here it is. This is 21 means 4s2, 3d1. If I take n equal to 4, 4s2, 3d1. So means uh, uh, what are d block elements? Means differentiating electron enters into n minus 1d subshell. Those we call d block elements. Differentiating electron enters into n minus one, not nth subshell, n minus one d subshell. Those we call d block elements. So here it is. First of all, this general electronic configuration we get later. First, scandium twenty one, one s two, two s two, two p six, three s two, three p six, four s two, three d one. Twenty two means four s two, three d two. 4s2 3d3, 4s2 3d4, 4s2 3d5, 4s2 3d6, 4s2 3d7, 
3a, 3n, 3n, like that configuration I am expecting. So here I am writing expected configuration. Expected configuration ns2 n minus 1 d1. Here I am expecting ns2 n minus 1 d2 configuration. This is n minus 1 d3 configuration. Here I am expecting n minus 1 d4 configuration. n minus 1 d5 configuration. This is n minus 1 d6 configuration. n minus 1 d7 configuration. n minus 1 d8 configuration. n minus 1 d9 configuration. n minus 1 d10 configuration. Like this configuration, I am expecting. That is expected configuration. Along with that, here it is ns2 count. ns2. And here it is ns2. Here it is ns2 ns2 and ns2 so ns2 n minus 1 d 1 2 ns2 n minus 1 d 10 configuration i am expecting but here it is some exceptions there in 3d series two exceptions there one is for chromium another one is for copper these two are the exceptions remaining configurations we get as we are expected. Here what are these exceptions means where I am telling exception we have to lift one electron from ns2 n minus 1d that is only exception. For suppose here it is reason this scandium here it is configuration is uh, 4 here it is scandium just now we written a 4s2 3d1. I am writing here it is this is 4s here it is 3d. So, scandium configuration I am writing. Scandium, this is 4s2, 3d1. So, 4 to, 4s subshell contains 2 electrons, 3d subshell contains 1 electron. Here it is in this also, 4s, this is 4s2, 3d1. This is 4s2, 3d2, 2 and 2. S subshell contains 2 electrons, d subshell contains 2 electrons. Here it is 4s3, 3d3. Here it is I am expecting, sorry, 4s2, 3d3, like this I am expecting, 4s2, 3d1, 4s2, 3d2, 4s2, 3d3. I am expecting 4s2, 3d4, but it will come 4s2, 3d5. This 4s2, 3d4 I am expecting, one electron we have to lift from uh, 4s2, 2, 3d, so 4s1, 3d5, 4s 4s1, 4s1, 3d5. Here it is 4s2, 3d1, 4s2, 3d2, 4s2, 3d3. I am expecting 4s2, 3d4, but it is exception. Now configuration is 4s1, 3d5 configuration. So here it is, why we are lifting like this means, this configuration, 4s2, 3d4 for chromium we are expecting, but the configuration is 4s1, 3d5. When we are taken 4s2, 3d4, s subshell is fulfilled, d subshell is not half filled, not fulfilled. When we are taken configuration like this, s subshell half filled and d subshell also half filled. So this is half filled stable, it is half filled stable, both are stable. Here this is stable, this is unstable. So compared to this, this electronic configuration is more stable. So that's why this configuration is allowed for chromium. So now here it is, next one. It is as it is here, it is 4s2, here it is d5 configuration, 4s2, 3d5. Now here it is in this 4s2, 3d6, 4s2, 3d7, here it is 4s2, 3d8, here it is 4s2, 3d9, I am expecting, but it is 4s1, 3d10. Here also 4s2, 3d9, for copper I am expecting. But the configuration is 4s1, 3d10. Why 4s1, 3d10? Means same reason. If we take configuration like this, this assumption is stable, this assumption is not stable. If we return 4s1, 3d10, here this assumption is stable because of half filled, this assumption is stable because of full filled. So this, in this configuration, only S assumption is stable. In this type configuration, both are stable. So that's why we write configuration for copper instead of 4s2, 3d9, we have to write 4s1, 3d10. So now here it is, this is 4s2, 3d10 configuration. 
so this is the electronic configuration for 3d series that is present in fourth period that is also be called first transition series configurations here i am showing 4s subsidial electrons and 3d subsidial electrons very simple to remember the means write the configuration scandium 21 4s2 3d1 titanium 22 4s2 3d2 vanadium 23 4s2 3d3 chromium 24 it is exception actually 4s2 3d4 instead of that 4s1 3d5 and manganese 25 4s2 3d5 26 4s2 3d6 cobalt 27 4s2 3d7 28 4s2 3d8 here it is 4s2 3d9 i am expecting but configuration is 4s1 3d10 4s2 3d10 so this is the configuration here what is this transition series first we has to understand the transition elements what are the transition elements to give explanation for transition elements i am giving to you one is scandium configuration scandium configuration is 4s2 3d1 and i am giving here it is copper copper plus 1 and copper plus 2 this configuration copper is 4s1 3d10 copper plus 1 means we has to remove one electron from the valency so means that is 4s0 and 3d10 copper plus 2 4s0 and 3d9 now i am taking one more set of example that is zinc and zinc plus 2 zinc is 4s2 3d10 zinc plus 2 4s0 3d10 now here what are the transition elements this scandium is the transition element copper plus 2 is the transition element here this is not transition elements remaining all this is not transition this is not transition this is not trans this is not transition here what is the meaning of transition elements here you see this is the d subsidial d subsidial maximum capacity of electrons are 10 here one electron present this d subsidial 3d subsidial is completely filled or incompletely filled this is incompletely filled so this is incompletely filled that's why i am calling scandium is a transition element and copper here it is scandium oxidation state is zero here copper oxidation state is zero here copper plus 1 here copper plus 2 copper zero 3d10 d subsidial is completely filled that's why it is not transition element copper plus 1 3d10 d subsidial is completely filled that's why we never call it as transition element copper plus 2 4s0 3d9 so d subsidial is incompletely filled that's why we call this is a transition element here zinc zinc plus 2 d10 d10 configuration so d subsidial is completely filled that's why we never call that as transition element here finally what is the transition elements meaning any d block element in its zero oxidation state or any other oxidation states for suppose copper plus 2 any d block element in its zero oxidation state or is in its atomic state or any other oxidation state d subsidial is incompletely filled that we called transition element here copper this is transition elements or not yes these are transition elements why because copper in its plus 2 oxidation state d subsidial is incompletely filled so finally my definition for transition elements is any d block elements in its zero oxidation state or any other oxidation state d subsidial is incompletely filled that we called transition elements so here it is in the transition elements it is the first series that's why we called first transition series so finally why we called 3d series here it is why we called 3d series means here you see what are d block elements means differentiating electrons differentiating electrons means in your electronic configuration the last electron we call differentiating electron that differentiating electron if enters into s subsidial s block p subsidial p block 
n minus 1 d sufficient that we call d block elements, n minus 2 f sufficient that we call f block elements. Here d block elements means differentiating electron enters into n minus 1 d sufficient that we call d block elements. In that n minus 1 d this is 3 d. That is why this we called 3 d series. Here 3D series totally here it is. Electrons are entering into 3D submission. That's why this is 3D series. 3D series total elements are 10 elements. Those are scandium to zinc. And here it is simply listen carefully. The above electronic configuration I written for expected. But actually electronic configuration present like this. We have to remember two exceptions here. Those are one is chromium another one is copper. Now I am changing to 4D series. 4D series, this is present in 5th period and here it is, this is 2nd transition series. 2nd transition series, here also, just elements I am writing first. So in 3D series, which is a not transition element means zinc is not a transition element. Remaining all are transition elements only. Now I am taking 4D series elements. 4D series elements here it is scandium down element is yttrium. Yttrium, zirconium and niobium and molybdenum and technetium, ruthenium, rhodium, Rh. Palladium, this is silver, this is cadmium. So these are the which elements? 4D series, fifth period that is second transition elements. Here also these configurations I am expecting, but configurations here it is. In 3D series, chromium and copper, these two are the exceptions. In 4D series, Except these two, zirconium and yttrium. Except these two, remaining all are exceptions here. The, in this 3D series, chromium copper exception. Here, in 4D series, total except this zirconium and yttrium and zirconium, except these two, here two exceptions. Here, excluding these two, all are exceptions. And here, you like. Uh, Zinc, this cadmium also not transition element that is just D block elements. Here how D10 configuration will come in 0 oxidation state and plus 2 oxidation state. Cadmium also in 0 oxidation state and any other oxidation plus 2 oxidation state it also D completely filled will come. So that's why like zinc, zinc uh, cadmium is not transition element that is just D block element. So here it is configuration here it is. In this uh, uh, 4s to 3d10. Here it is 4s. In 3d series, in 3d series, 4s and 3d we utilize. It. So here it is in this 5s and 4d. 5s and 4d. So electron centers into 4d submission. That's why we called 4d series. So here it is, first of all here it is, here no exception in these two. Listen, no exception means we have to write electronic configuration as this. So means 5s2, 4d1. It is 5s2, 4d2. But neobium exception, these all are exceptions. And listen carefully, palladium double exception. Single exception means single S electron we are lifting to D. Double exception means double electrons, two electrons we have to lift from Ns to D. So here it is in this yttrium and zirconium, there is no exception. There is no exception, that's why this is 5s2, 4d1 and 5s2, 4d2. Here exception. I am expecting 5s2, 4d3. So means I get the configuration because of exception. This is 5s1, this is 4d4. 5s2, 4d3 actual configuration but I am getting one electron I am lifting from 4s2 this 3d. So 4s1, 3d, 4. Here also exception this is also this is 5s1, 4d, 5. 
and this is phi s1 4d 6 and phi s1 4d 7 and phi s1 4d 8 and here double exception phi s2 4d 8 two electrons I has to lift that is this is 0 this is 10 and here it is this is two electrons I am lifting here to here so totally and here it is single exception that is 1 and 10 this is 2 and 10 this is the configuration once again listen carefully electronic configuration very simple method I am explaining to write the electronic configuration first elements yttrium zirconium niobium molybdenum technetium ruthenium rhodium palladium silver cadmium so these are the 4d series elements here only two exceptions sorry except these two remaining all exceptions only in this yttrium and zirconium there was no exception for electronic configuration remaining all exceptions especially in palladium double exception will come now here it is yttrium no exception that's why phi s2 4d1 zirconium no exception phi s2 4d2 here exception there one electron i am lifting so phi s1 4d4 one electron i am lifting from here to here this become one this become four next one phi phi s1 4d5 phi s1 4d6 phi s1 4d7 phi s1 4d8 palladium double exception two electrons you lift here phi s0 4d10 and here it is single exception phi s1 4d10 phi s2 4d10 what i told cadmium is just d black element it is not transition element why because in cadmium it is 10 cadmium plus 2 also 10 d10 d10 configuration that's why it is not transition elements now i am coming for general electronic configuration general electronic configuration of d black elements is n minus 1 d 1 to 10 ns 1 to 2 some textbooks they will give but it is 0 comma 1 comma 2 0 comma 1 comma 2 why because listen in palladium the configuration will come as 0 phi s 0 will come only one element in d block elements s subshell present with 0 electrons here it is that's why listen here it is n minus 1 d 1 to 10 ns 0 also possible here it is for palladium that's why configuration is n minus 1 d 1 to 10 ns 0 comma 1 comma 2 but sometimes in options they won't mention this is sometimes they mention it as n minus 1 d 1 to 10 ns 1 to 2 at that time we have to pick answer for n minus 1 d 1 to 10 ns 1 comma 2 if they given both means we have to pick answer for n minus 1 d 1 to 10 ns 0 comma 1 comma 2 here it is reason I am giving in the following which is the general electronic configuration of d block elements. I am giving options to you n minus 1 d 1 to 10 ns 1 to 2 n minus 1 d 1 to 10 ns 0 comma 1 comma 2. Compared to in these two sorry in these two which is the more correct answer means n minus 1 d 1 to 10 ns 0 comma 1 comma 2. So we put answer for this. If they are not given this. Uh, three options they given wrong one option they given n minus 1 d 1 to 10 ns 1 comma 2 then we put answer for 1 comma 2 only so this is our 4d series 4d series fifth period second transition series it is now i am going for 5d series here it is 5d series it is present in sixth period this we called third transition series third transition series first element here it is here phi s 4d both are filled then 6s first elements you take here and listen here atomic numbers also what are the magic numbers 2 comma 8 comma 8 comma 18 comma 18 comma 32 these are the magic numbers and this d block element starts from fourth period so fourth period 4d series total series 
4D, 5D, 6D, 7D. Fourth period, fifth period, sixth period. Sorry. Here, this is 4D series, 5D series. series 4d series 5d series 6d series this is belongs to fourth period this is belongs to fifth period this is belongs to sixth period this is belongs to seventh period total how many gaps there one two three gaps there so three magic numbers you select here so b block elements magic numbers are 18 18 32 so here it is scandium 21 is there 21 plus 8, 9. So, if 3 atomic number is 39. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 49. So, here it is 49. So, like this uh, atomic numbers. So, now I am going for 5D series, 6th period, 3rd transition series. 3rd transition series, here the element is scandium, yttrium and here it is <coughs> lanthanum. This lanthanum, its atomic number, again add 18 here. So, 18 means here it is 17. So, 57. 57 is the atomic number for lanthanum. 57 after, here it is titanium, zirconium, here the element is hafnium. Lanthanum 57, but hafnium is not 58. Between lanthanum and hafnium, 14 elements, those are not belongs to D block, those are belongs to F block. Here it is lanthanum 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So, 71 means it is 72. Otherwise, if you want here it is, here 2 means 3D series to 4D series. The magic number is 18. So, here it is 18 means 8 to the 10. 10 means 40. So, zirconium here it is 40. So, these are atomic numbers. But here it is, half name is then 57 after 14 elements. 14 elements, those are not belongs to these 14 elements here in between. Total 14 elements there. Those 14 elements are not belongs to this D block elements. So, lanthanum atomic number 57, after half name its atomic number is 72. So, 72, lanthanum half name, lanthanum half name after it is vanadium, niobium, this is tantalium and tungsten, tungsten after rhenium, osmium, Iridium and Platinum Aram Mercury. These are the elements of 5D series, 6th period and 3rd transition series. But listen here, once again I am explaining Lanthanum 57. Lanthanum 57 after 14 elements are belongs to F block. So, it is 57, it is not 58, half name is 72. 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Mercury is 80. So, here it is in this total, these are the atomic numbers. In this also, two exceptions there, the two exceptions are these two. Platinum and Aram. Here it is, Lanthanum configuration. Here in 3D series, 4S 3D, 4D series, 5S 4D and 5D series means, 5D series here it is 5S 
5D series, 3D series 4S, 4D series 5S, 5D series 6S, 6S comma 4D, 6S comma 4D. So here configuration is 6S2 4D1. Here it is 6S2 4D3 and 6S2 4D4, 6S2 4D5. Here 6S2 4D6, 6S2 4D7, 6S2 4D8. Here exception, platinum is exception. And here it is 6S1 4, no sorry, 6S1 4D9. Sorry, this is 5D. So here it is, this is uh, 6S2 5D, sorry, 6S1 5D10 exception. 6s2 5d 10. So these are the configurations for 5d series, 6th period, 3rd transition series. Once again, listen regarding this electronic configuration 57 lanthanum and half neon. This is lanthanum 57 after 14 elements belongs to F block, half neon it is the 72. Lanthanum, hafnium, tantalium, tungsten, rhenium, osmium, iridium, platinum, aurum, mercury. So these are the atoms of 5D series. Configuration. 5D series means it is <coughs> 6S and 5D. Both will fill here it is. So 6S, 5D. So here only two exceptions. One is platinum, another one is aurum. Listen, these are not zinc, cadmium, mercury are not transition elements. Those are just D-block elements. Why zinc, cadmium, mercury are not transition elements? These are D-block elements. Means this zinc, cadmium, mercury in zero oxidation state or any other possible oxidation states, this contains D10 configuration, completely filled D solution. That's why these we not consider as transition elements. Now here electronic configuration, platinum and aram both are exceptions here. So configuration it is 6s2, 5d1, 6s2, 5d3, 6s2, 5d4, 6s2, 5d5, 6s2, 5d6, 6s2, 5d7, 6s2, 5d8, here exception. And 6s1, 5d9, 6s2, sorry, 6s1, 5d10, 6s2, 5d10. So these are the configurations. This is total electronic configuration of 3D series, 4D series, 5D series. Now 6D series is there. 6D series also, here I am writing. Here it is 6D series. 6D series, this is present in 7th period and it is 4th transition series. 4th transition series and last transition series. Here it is lanthanum, here it is actinium. Next element is rutherfordium. Here also listen 57 plus 18. It is 7 plus 8, 15 and here it is 57 is the lanthanum atomic number, its magic number is 32, 9, 89. So 89 is the atomic number of actinium and after actinium, rutherfordium atomic number is not 90. Again, between actinium and rutherfordium, the 14 elements are also not belongs to D block, those belongs to F block. Here, lanthanum between, lanthanum between root hafnium, the 14 elements are belongs to 4F series. Here, actinium between rutherfordium, the 14 elements are belongs to 5F series. So, means here 14, 14, 28 F block elements will present. It is 89. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 
and here it is 1042 here it is the last element here it is c sorry sorry cn cn that is the last element that is the name is copernicum its name is copernicum here it is listen in this um, uh, maximum elements uh, with scientist names will come here it is rutherfordium borium and dysporcium like that elements will come here it is here the element that elements name is not uh, important here it is just for explanation purpose i am taking this first last elements actinium 89 after 14 elements belongs to f next rutherfordium 104 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111 and here it is, this is 112. So this is total last element in periodic table, this is Copernicum. It is 112. So here it is, this is total the information about 6D series, 7th period and 4th transition series. Here it is in this only uh, one exception is there. Uh, range zinium RZ will come, that is one exception will present, but that is no need to you. Here it is platinum RM, why I am explaining exception is generally we use these uh, in our regular further explanation. That's why platinum and RM I am showing their electronic configuration. So it is totally our electronic configuration of D block elements. And listen here it is one more point is this zinc cadmium mercury. These are not transition elements. These are just D block elements. But uh, remaining elements, if we are taken, those are acting as D block elements as well as transition elements. Here they will give one statement. The statement is here it is. This is a D block element, but not transition element. That meaning remaining all are transition elements and D block elements. Means all transition elements are D block elements, but all D block elements are not transition elements. Here, zinc, cadmium, mercury are just D block, but those are not transition elements. If we take out this zinc, cadmium, mercury, remaining all elements, those are D block elements and transition elements. That meaning, listen carefully every D block element is not transition element, but every transition element is D block elements. Your statement once again I am telling, see carefully, all transition elements are D block elements, but all D block elements are not transitional elements because this zinc, cadmium, mercury are D block elements, but not transitional elements. This is totally our electronic configuration of D block elements. Then we are going to discuss atomic radius. Listen carefully this atomic radius here it is. Listen, in our syllabus, the explanation is there for 3D series. Not 4D, 5D and 6D. Compounds also there for 3D series only. So we concentrate much on 3D series only. Here I am explaining. Next, the first electronic configuration is out. And here it is second one. I am explaining about atomic radius. Atomic radius. Here atomic radius is, I am taking 3D series. When I am taking 3D series elements, scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper and the last is zinc. So it is 3D series. This is 4S subshell and 3D subshell. Here this is one exception. Here this is the one exception. So here it is 4S2, 3D1. 
ఫోర్ ఎస్ టూ త్రీ డీ టూ ఫోర్ ఎస్ టూ త్రీ డీ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఎస్ వన్ త్రీ డీ ఫైవ్ ఫోర్ ఎస్ టూ త్రీ డీ ఫైవ్ అండ్ ఫోర్ ఎస్ టూ త్రీ డీ సిక్స్ ఫోర్ ఎస్ టూ త్రీ డీ సెవెన్ ఫోర్ ఎస్ టూ త్రీ డీ ఎయిట్ ఫోర్ ఎస్ వన్ త్రీ డీ టెన్ ఫోర్ ఎస్ టూ త్రీ డీ టెన్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ ది కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ హియర్ అటామిక్ రేడియస్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఇన్ పీరియడ్ ఫ్రమ్ లెఫ్ట్ టు రైట్ ఇన్ పీరియడ్ ఇన్ పీరియడ్ ఫ్రమ్ లెఫ్ట్ టు రైట్ లెఫ్ట్ టు రైట్ అటామిక్ రేడియస్ డిక్రీజెస్ అటామిక్ రేడియస్ డిక్రీజెస్ బికాస్ జెడ్ ఎఫెక్టివ్ ఇంక్రీజెస్ so atomic radius decreases z effective increases but please and here it is one thing in this explanation scandium to chromium here it is scandium to chromium this is scandium to chromium here it is 1 2 3 here it is z effective increases atomic radius decreases scandium to chromium atomic radius what happen decreases atomic radius decreases after that here chromium to manganese this chromium to manganese atomic radius increases chromium to manganese atomic radius increases there after that here it is manganese to iron manganese to iron this manganese to iron atomic radius decreases after that these three contains iron cobalt nickel atomic radius almost same and the nickel to copper atomic radius increases copper to zinc atomic radius increases now listen carefully in this first i am telling this total explanation listen carefully here it is in period from left to right atomic radius decreases because z effective increases so what i am expecting here it is scandium to zinc atomic radius i am expecting decrease in atomic radius decrease in atomic radius here scandium is the highest atomic radius in this and uh, uh, here to here atomic radius decreases but middle some exceptions will come why those exceptions will come listen carefully here it is left to right when i am going here it is this is 3d1 3d2 3d3 and 3d5 coming here it is after that listen carefully here pairing is started here listen carefully once 4s2 3d1 4s2 3d2 4s2 3d3 and 4s1 3d5 rs 4s2 3d4 and 4s2 3d5 and 4s2 3d6 here d sub shell from here d sub shell maximum electrons here it is in this 1 2 3 4 5 so in d sub shell five orbitals present d1 means no d electron is paired d2 no electron pair d3 1 2 3 no pair d5 1 2 3 4 5 no electron pair here it is listen uh, d5 1 2 3 4 5 no electron pair but if you are taken d6 configuration pairing in d sub shell will start listen from iron from iron the electrons are pairing in d sub shell here it is listen carefully atomic radius decreasing in a period from left to right because of z effective increasing means nucleus force this z effective means nucleus force on valence shell that is increasing that's why atomic radius increasing sorry atomic radius decreasing z effective means nucleus force on valence shell nucleus force on valence shell increasing that's why atomic radius decreasing but here it is from iron this d sub shell pairing will start here it is 1 2 3 4 5 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव डी सिक्स मीन वन पेरिंग डी सेवन सेकेंड पेरिंग थ्री फोर फाइव दट मीनिंग रिजन केयरफुली वेन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर गोइंग टू पेर दिनी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर टूगेदर मीन रिपर्शन प्रेजेंट फॉर सपोज रीजन इट इज इन दिस आई एम टेकिंग दिस कॉन्फिगरेशन दिस इज द न्यूक्लियस दीज आर दि शेल्स दिस इज फोर एस हियर इट इज थ्री डी This is 4s2. I am taking 3d3. Here I am taking iron. This is the nucleus. It is 4s2. It is 3d6. Here more electrons in this subshell, and pairing is taking place. So because of this pairing, what happens? The electron repulsion also be increases. When electron repulsion increases, these two shells try to move away. So means there is a chances to develop. atomic radius once again i am explaining listen carefully left to right atomic radius decreases because of z effective increases z effective means nucleus force on valency shell the force the nucleus force on valency shell increases the atom will compress atomic radius will decrease but the force which is used which is utilizing to decrease the atomic radius at the same way when d sub shell is going to pair the repulsions between shells also increases that is increases the atomic radius z effective is trying to decrease atomic radius but the electron pairing in d sub shell is increases atomic radius one factor is utilizing to decrease atomic radius one factor is utilizing to increase atomic radius those two factors are nullifies together that's why iron cobalt nickel atomic radius is same and listen here it is one more here scandium to chromium atomic radius decreases atomic radius decreases why atomic radius decreases means here no d sub shell is pairing no d sub shell is pairing that's why this repulsion factor not present in d1 d2 d3 d5 configuration that's why as usual without any exception here zinc to chromium zinc to chromium atomic radius decreases because of z effective increase so here scandium titanium vanadium chromium in this no exceptions it is scandium to chromium atomic radius decreasing just because of z effective increase now here it is chromium to manganese chromium to manganese atomic radius increases why chromium to manganese atomic radius increasing what i told here it is listen carefully iron cobalt nickel atomic radius almost same in iron cobalt nickel atomic radius almost same why same means z effective is trying to decrease atomic radius the electron pairing in d sub shell is creating repulsions between shells that is trying to increase atomic radius this decrease factor this increase factor both nullifies together that's why there is no net increase there is no net decrease atomic radius that's why in these three atomic radius is same now listen this point of situation i am taking here it is listen in this listen carefully here to here atomic radius increasing atomic radius increasing means why atomic radius increasing means z effective is here one is z effective another one is repulsion this repulsion because of increase in number of electrons here listen uh, three electrons four electrons five electrons six electrons seven electrons like that number of electrons from left to right increasing when number of electrons increasing in a particular subshell compulsory repulsion also increases but here listen scandium to chromium atomic radius decreases because of z effective increases that meaning z effective dominating on this repulsions here scandium to scandium to chromium scandium to chromium z effective is there and electronic electronic repulsions there here it is one electron two electrons present 
so year to year number of electrons increasing in d subshell means automatically repulsion also increases but scandium to chromium what happen z effective is dominated over electronic repulsions so electronic repulsions dominating that's why atomic radius decreases here chromium to manganese this is this is a scandium to chromium scandium to chromium z effective is greater than electronic repulsions now i am taking chromium to manganese chromium to manganese chromium to manganese again same this is z effective here it is electronic repulsions electronic repulsions reason here it is if z effective dominates atomic radius decreases chromium to manganese atomic radius increasing that meaning which is dominating electronic repulsions dominating so electronic repulsions dominating that's why here to here atomic radius what happen increases now i am taking manganese to iron this is manganese to iron manganese to iron again atomic radius atomic radius decreasing here it is reason manganese to iron atomic radius decreasing again here it is z effective and electronic repulsions so which is dominating z effective dominating so z effective dominating that's why here what happen atomic radius decrease so here uh, z effective dominating here already uh, electronic repulsions dominated already started so means it will continue na? so why you are giving this z effective greater than electronic repulsions but listen carefully manganese to iron manganese to iron you have to think once from iron the electrons pairing in d subshell will start so here here no d orbitals pairing here no d orbitals pairing that's why here it is which is dominating here it is electronic repulsions dominating that's why atomic radius increasing from iron what happen here it is d subshell pairing will takes place so that's why here it is manganese to iron or what happen atomic radius little decreases here it is and here it is iron cobalt nickel in these three in these three what happen iron atomic radius is almost equal to cobalt atomic radius almost equal to nickel that meaning here it is z effective is equal to electronic repulsions here it is nickel to copper atomic radius increases why nickel to copper atomic radius increases means atomic radius increasing means which is dominating here it is electronic repulsions dominating here it is zinc also atomic radius increases so here it is it is also here electronic repulsions dominates there once again listen carefully here in this if you want to understand the atomic radius of 3d series we has to understand two things because of z effective atomic radius decreasing and because of electronic repulsions atomic radius increasing here scandium to chromium atomic radius decreases why because z effective dominates on electronic repulsions chromium to manganese atomic radius increases atomic radius increasing means electronic repulsions dominating and the manganese to iron atomic radius decreases atomic radius decreases why atomic radius decreasing means here it is z effective dominating but listen here the reason is d orbital pairing will start that's why z effective dominating here it is then after here it is iron cobalt nickel same why because z effective equal to electronic repulsions here nickel copper both nickel to copper atomic radius increases why because repulsions dominates copper to zinc also it is totally maximum electrons that's why electron repulsion dominating there so this is atomic radius in period now atomic radius in group atomic radius in group this is 3d 4d and 5d and 6d 
here the first element is zinc yttrium sorry 3d first element is scandium yttrium lanthanum actinium here next element is scandium titanium yttrium next element is zirconium here it is hafnium here it is rutherfordium here listen 3d to 4d atomic radius increases but 4d 5d atomic radius 5d to 6d atomic radius remains same why because listen carefully that is after lanthanum the electrons of the element enters into f subshell listen screening effect or shielding effect s greater than p greater than d greater than f that meaning s subshell absorbs more nucleus power that's why the next coming electrons experience less nucleus power so here it is p subshell compared to s p subshell absorbs less nucleus power d subshell absorbs less nucleus power compared to p f subshell absorbs very 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 less nucleus power listen after lanthanum the 14 electrons the 14 the sorry after lanthanum the electrons of the elements are enters into n minus 2f subshell means electrons entering into f subshell f subshell does not absorbs that much nucleus power that's why the nucleus power on further this s subshell and d subshell increases that's why atomic radius decreases in group from top to bottom atomic radius increases but due to lanthanide contraction atomic radius decreases net cancel out so that's why 4d to 5d atomic radius remains same but listen carefully scandium to yttrium atomic radius increases yttrium to lanthanum atomic radius increases lanthanum to actinium atomic radius increases but lanthanide contraction will start after the lanthanum that's why zirconium hafnium atomic radius same hafnium rutherfordium atomic radius same that meaning listen carefully this is third group third group uh, in third group from top to bottom atomic radius increases but from fourth group atomic radius 3d series to 4d series increases but 4d 5d remains same 5d 6d remains same so here it is listen carefully atomic radius i am giving to you scandium yttrium and lanthanum and actinium scandium less than yttrium less than lanthanum less than actinium but i am taking here it is titanium and zirconium and hafnium and rutherfordium so here to here what happened 3d to 4d there is no lanthanide contraction so there is no lanthanide contraction means uh, titanium to zirconium atomic radius increases this is okay but zirconium hafnium almost same these two also almost same why this zirconium hafnium atomic radius hafnium rutherfordium atomic radius same means here one concept we has to understand that is lanthanide contraction what is lanthanide contraction means after lanthanum after lanthanum the electrons of the elements enters into f subshell f subshell does not absorb that much nucleus force that's why the nucleus force remains on further coming s subshell and d subshell which is in hafnium and the next elements so atomic radius decreases that decrement we called lanthanide contraction so zirconium to hafnium atomic radius need to increase because in group from top to bottom <coughs> number of shells increases so atomic radius chance to increase but due to lanthanide contraction atomic radius decreasing so net cancel out there is no increase there is no decrease in atomic radius from zirconium to hafnium here after actinium also same that is actinide effect so here it is this is totally atomic radius in group in group this is the order but after the titanium zirconium what happened titanium less than zirconium zirconium hafnium all are equal here also equal it is lanthanide contraction here it is actinide contraction actinide contraction means same after actinium the electrons of the element centers into f subshell that's why f subshells here does not absorb that much nucleus force so the nucleus force on further 
S and D subshell from Rutherford M to the next elements increases, atomic radius decreases. This is the same here it is. And listen here in this, due to lanthanide contraction, what happened here it is? 3D to 4D atomic radius increases. Atomic radius increases means there was a much difference in the properties. Here scandium between yttrium, there is a difference in the properties. Yttrium between lanthanide also, there is a difference in the properties. Lanthanide and actinium also, there is a difference in the properties. But there is a difference in properties between titanium and zirconium, but there is no difference in the properties of zirconium and hafnium and hafnium and rutherfordium. So when the properties are similar, it is very difficult to separate the elements from the mixture. So this is the main consequence of lanthanide contraction. Okay. This is totally atomic radius. Next class we will discuss ionization potential, melting point, boiling point, everything. Thank you very much.